Hi everyone, Dr. Sharon Wong here today and we're going to be talking about a topic that's really quite close to me because I've had it since I was a baby and that is eczema. So what is eczema? Eczema is a chronic inflammatory skin disorder and it is extremely common. So about one in five children or babies get it and about one in 12 adults are affected in the UK. Symptoms of eczema are really quite classical. You get red, dry, flaky patches of skin, which are so intensely itchy. And in fact, it's known as the itch that rashes. Why do we get eczema? The majority of cases of eczema are due to hereditary factors, so genetics. And the most common form of eczema is what we call atopic eczema. And atopy is a term that dermatologists use to denote the three conditions, asthma, eczema, and hay fever, which often run in families, and they are related conditions. So there may be someone in your family who has asthma, another person who has hay fever, or all three, but the three conditions are linked. And so you are more likely to develop eczema if you or your family members have asthma or hay fever. What happens in eczema is that there is a defect in the skin barrier function of your skin. So if you imagine that a newly laid brick wall is like your skin, what happens in eczema is that the mortar between the bricks are broken down. And as a result of that, your primary function of your skin, which is as a barrier, is defective. And in the majority of people, there are genetic factors that contribute to that broken down barrier function. There are lots of triggers that can potentially flare up eczema and it's very specific to each individual. For me, it's a stress-related trigger. So before I had exams, I would always have flares of eczema, which would then settle after the exams were over. And stress really is a main trigger factor for a lot of people. Another common trigger factor is actually changes in the weather. So typically around the changes of season coming into winter and the central heating is all on, um, the rooms are often hot and dry, but also the external environment is cold, blustering winds, all of which really does dry out your skin and flare up your eczema. Other common triggers of eczema include infection, particularly if your eczema hasn't been that well controlled, so you've still got tiny little cuts in your skin. Infection can get in there and will flare up your eczema to a whole new level. On top of that, there could be certain things like fragrances, uh, so perfumed products, perfumed body creams, etc., that can also trigger off a flare-up, as can perfumes which have alcohol in it, can cause an irritant effect on your skin. Unfortunately, there is no cure for eczema, which is a chronic disease, but a lot of the treatments can keep those itchy, inflamed patches at bay. So at its simplest, you can just apply topical treatments on the skin surface, and usually these are steroid-based. And there is a lot of concern amongst the general public about the risks of using steroids, including skin thinning, for example. But the problem with eczema is that you have to think of it a bit like a wildfire. If you don't contain it, it will very quickly start to spread to the rest of the body. So treating it appropriately with strong enough steroids is very important because it keeps the inflammation under control quickly. After that, your doctor, your GP or your dermatologist will be able to help you guide the reduction in the use of steroids and then on to maintenance treatment. There is actually a lot that you can do yourself at home to help with your skin. And in fact, the cornerstone of eczema management, regardless of how good or bad your eczema is, actually is about skincare. So this is what you use in the shower or the bath and what you use to moisturize. It's really important to avoid soaps. Anything that's got a detergent in it that foams or lathers has a surfactant. And what surfactants do is it just degreases. So think about when you're washing your plates, you're degreasing your plate, but you don't actually want to do that if you've got dry skin. So what you need to do if you've got eczema is use a cleansing product, which is a cream base or what we call uh, an, an emollient wash. And there are lots of different brands which are available over the counter designed for eczema prone skin. The second thing that you can do to help yourself is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. You cannot overdo it with moisturizing. And there's a whole body of evidence to say that if you get that right and you're frequent enough with moisturizing, you can actually stave off your flare-ups or and or reduce the severity of your flare-up. The choice of moisturizer is also really important. So 
We often like things which are paraffin based, which um, are particularly good for people with eczema. It's an inert product, but it's also thick enough to almost form like a plaster on the skin whilst your skin is healing from the eczema. So choice of moisturiser and avoiding soaps and avoiding fragrances are all the things that you should be doing at home to help your skin.